And before I start, I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the 98th birthday of Habitat for Humanity's most famous volunteer. So uh, President Carter was out and about in Plains this weekend, and he and Mrs. Carter are enjoying their retirement. It is a one of the, the two uh, most common myths about Habitat. One is that we give away homes, which we don't. You'll hear more about that later. The second is that President Carter founded Habitat, which is actually not true. But there is no question that in 1984, when he and Mrs. Carter rode a bus from Plains, Georgia, up to New York City and spent a week sleeping in the basement of a church and rehabbing a tenement building on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, that's when the world found out about Habitat for Humanity. And it started 35 years of the Carter spending a week every year somewhere in the world uh, building homes and bringing attention to the need for safety and affordable housing. They have been incredible partners. And I think their servant leadership and their example of, uh, of personally engaging and their care and passion for those in need of housing has been an inspiration to literally millions around the world. Their efforts have raised awareness to the need for our work and the need for our mission. And that it's a need that has only uh, grown with the pandemic that we have all suffered for over the last two years. So what we know is that when a child grows up in safety and affordable housing, she stays healthier, she does better in school, and she is prepared and has the foundation for the kind of life uh, God intends for all children. What we've seen during the pandemic is housing prices actually exploded uh, just as financial pressures have hit harder, uh, and it's exacerbated the economic and financial divide we have in our country. So we have a huge supply shortage of housing, and uh, that is certainly true here in Charlotte as it is across the country. And the kind of rapid price increases that we've seen in this community, we're seeing across the U.S. and across the world. One in three families in Charlotte are cost burdened, meaning they're spending more than half of their income on housing. And if you think about that, that means they're making unfathomable choices about what they can't do in terms of the ways they want to support their families. Habitat for Humanity of the Charlotte region has been a lighthouse affiliate for Habitat for Humanity for many, many years. Uh, this is actually, they hosted, uh, the they were the third city to ever host the Jimmy and Carter Rosalind Pro Carter Work Project. And they have been a leading builder and advocate for good housing policies here in the market. So it is with great pleasure and our honor to announce that the Jimmy and, Carter Roseland, Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project will be coming to the Charlotte region, to the wonderful site that is behind me next year. It will take place October 1st through 6th, 2023. And I'm delighted to introduce Laurie Mumford, who is the chair of Habitat for Humanity of the Charlotte region, who is going to share a little more about the project. Laurie, welcome. We are so very excited, honored, and proud to host the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter Work Project alongside Habitat Humanitarians Garth Brooks and Tricia Yearwood, who have so graciously agreed to carry on the Carter's legacy. The timing is special for us. Next year will mark our 40th anniversary of this affiliate, 36 years since we first hosted the Carter Work Project. The 20 homes that we'll be working on during the 2023 Carter Work Project are being constructed as part of a 39 home development called the Meadows at Plato Price. This nine acre plot of land formerly housed an all black school that was transformative education and civic space for the black community in the early 1900s through the 1960s. If you have an opportunity, we encourage you to watch a short video that we produced about the school's history and this new development. It's posted on our website and YouTube. At 10.6 million, this community development project is estimated to be our largest project to date. We are so grateful to the City of Charlotte, which donated the land along with a community development block grant funding. We'd also like to thank the Ally Charitable Foundation, the Moran Case Foundation, and Myers Park Methodist Church for their contribution. They each matched the city's principal investment of $1 million. And with that, 
I'll pass the mic to our former board chair, Boris Henderson, who has strong ties to the Charlotte community and also serves on the Habitat International Board. Thank you. And one of my most significant connections to Habitat Charlotte region is the fact that I grew up in a Habitat house in the Optimist Park uh, community. Uh, so in 1987, that, that was the original uh, Carter Project, uh, which really paved the way for me to have an opportunity to live in a, a home, a place called home that my mom worked so hard for, and it opened many doors of opportunity for us. Um, in fact, many of those original Habitat homeowners who benefited from the Carter Project still live in Optimus Park. Um, and now that I've had the... Um, really the, the the power of reflection and growing older um, I, I see the the full benefit of of why it's so important to to have communities like uh, the communities we're talking about here today for example in my old community Optimus Park there's folks who went off to Davidson College Duke University Chapel Hill and so we know the power of home ownership and one of the other, I think, really important things that was born out of that Carter project in that community is a lot of those homeowners have really taken the responsibility to give back in a very special way. For example, Terry Stokes, who lives in that community, uh, is a housing advocate. The Cars, who live in a, a, a house that Jimmy Carter actually built, they are very active in the community. And and it's just a part of, of who we are as an organization. So the, the medals at P Plato Price, uh, in my opinion, will fulfill those same hopes and dreams in Charlotte, just as they have been fulfilled in the original Carter Project in Optimus Park. And one of our greatest needs, of course, in Charlotte is the need for affordable housing, really affordable living, uh, communities where there are people from different walks of life, um, so mixed income communities, this will be a brilliantly designed and well thought out mixed income community. Uh, so I'm very excited to see the impact of the, the medals of uh, Plato Price, not only today, but looking out 30 years, because I've seen the benefit of, of what happened in the first Carter project in Optimus Park. Um, there will be wealth creation. I had the talking to Lapree, I said, don't ever sell your house because we know the light rail is probably coming in this direction. So someday she may have the opportunity to help fund college. Uh, and really the spirit of those brave men and women who attended the Prado Price High School and others who call this place home, that is the, the great hope and, and um, belief of what will happen here at this location. So with that being said, I would like to invite up uh, a to-be homeowner, LaPree Holmes. Hello, everyone. I am LaPree Holmes, and I am going to be a happy homeowner here at uh, Meadows at Plato Price. Um, this community is going to be um, a legacy for my family. Just as you've heard, um, I am currently paying 50% of my income in rent. Um, I don't make a whole lot of money, but the money that I do make, I make a pretty decent living for me and my daughter. But at the price point that we're currently at, I'm currently capping out uh, for safe, affordable housing. So being a part of this community that we stand on now, um, I am more than happy to continue on uh, being a part of this project. And with the uh, community standing behind me and this great project um, from Jimmy Carter and this organization, I'll be more than happy to carry on the legacy for Habitat. Thank you. Lepre, thank you and congratulations. You and the other families are why we build. And it's so exciting to see uh, what is gonna become a beautiful and thriving community.